hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today is a good friday and i am about to prepare okra soup that's actually one of my husband's favorite soup and so today he said i should prepare it for him and i should only use mangala fish so here this is my already washed okra here is the fish i am yet to wash it i only soaked it inside hot water so here is my salt here is my red oil as you can see <coughs> so here is my crayfish here is my pepe here is my maggi here is my vegetable ogo here here is my ninja ninja and my pots so i am about to show you guys how i am going to prepare this healthy okra soup with just mangal so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel let's go dear. i have already washed i have already washed this up and i'm about to use this processor to blend it a, a little sometimes i do cut it and sometimes i also make use of my uh, blender whichever one is fine this one is a food processor uh, it's, this one is different from blender you can actually use it to you know to do your carrots cabbage and the rest even tomatoes so this is what i'm going to use As you can see, I've already transferred the okra inside my processor and I'm about to operate it. This is a Ninja blender. It's a 3-in-1 blender. It comes with a processor, a blender and a juice blender. As in a juice cup, you can actually also use it to blend your fruits. So I'm about to operate it. Here we have blend, mass blend, chop, pre, mix. So I'm going to press. So as you can see, this one is much easier. And if you try to use your hand to be cutting, you end up wasting much of your time. But with this, catch up, you are done. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's check it. As you can see, so if you are not okay with the texture you can still cover it and blend it till you are okay with the size or texture as you can see i'm about to transfer it inside my so that i can now add more opera inside so it is very much easier for for you to use a, your processor than trying to use your hand to cut it so as you can see the next thing is for me to wash my fish don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so as you can see i am now washing my mangala fish because that is what i am going to use and prepare it we don't want to eat meat so i am only making use of mangala fish i will have to wash it twice i am also removing the bones so that it won't injure my children i am going to wash it twice so that is exactly what i am doing don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> so this is the fish and i'm about to wash it for the second time
So I'm about to add the ingredients. I love using onions to cook all my meals. There are some people that will tell me, ah, why are you adding onions now? Why are you, the, some people don't like eating onions. But I love it so much. So I'm about to add my onions. The next thing is to add my maggi. So the next one is my pepper. This is Cameroon pepper. And this is my crayfish. Then my salt. Then water. Then I will now cover it and put it in my fire. So this is my electric cooker. So I'm about to place it on fire. Ta -da! Don't forget to subscribe. My soup is on fire. Let me cut the vegetables. At least by the time I am done cutting the vegetables, the soup will start de boiling. <laughs> so that's my vegetable. There are some people that prefer to use shopping board, but for me, any which any which way is fine by me. Whether it's my hands or shopping board. So today I prefer to use cuttings from my mm -hmm. so. So, I'm going to use this Obo vegetable. So, I'm about to add my red oil. brought the oil in a big gallon from the village so I decided to use this empty custard container to put some quantity so that if I want to cook it will be easier for me than for me to be bringing out the gallon from the warehouse so with this I will have to just cook the quantity that will be enough for me just like I did don't forget to subscribe So it is time for me to add my okra.
As you can see, my Aminicious Okra with Mangala. I intentionally didn't put much oil because I don't really like too much oil in my Okra. So as you can see, my Aminicious Okra. And I am now about to add my vegetables. I think it's too thick. I might need to add some some water. See my fish, my mangala fish. Let me test some to see if I need to add more salt. Don't forget to subscribe in the next few minutes. I'll bring it out from so my okra soup is ready. My okra soup with mangala, as you can see it's ready and it is so yummy so as you can see my okra soup is ready i didn't use meat because today is good friday and we are not supposed to eat meat as catholics so as you can see my natural okra soup with mangala is ready so don't forget to subscribe.